Previously on Shimshon Eats Jerusalem. He's celebrating Novigod. We're starting with the soups. Hi, Benjamin. Nice Hello. to see you. Yeah, sure. Good to see you. And so today, I'm very apprehensive. Um, I'm going to be doing a food review which is different from everything else. I've been to all these fancy steak restaurants. I've been across the road to fancy Mexican food. But today, we're doing a mitzvah. We're helping people. We're going to be trying food that is in a soup kitchen for the Hineni. And uh, Benjamin Philip is here. Um, tell us in a nutshell, should I be scared? Should I be worried? This is a whole new outside my comfort zone. Is we have a so-called humanitarian restaurant where we give food away free to those who are really in need. But there are also those people who are lesser in need but come here for one, a very reasonable cheap meal for lunch and at the same time they're able to embrace those who are less fortunate. And by the people coming here, those who are in need, another need, we take away the stigma of a soup kitchen and we make it into a humanitarian restaurant that gives the feeling that everybody on the other way is connected in one society. And that's the beauty of it. Here you'll see a millionaire sitting to a beggar and they're sitting on the same table. And I think that's the beauty of this place. Um, I'm coming in with two principles. Um, first of all, um, I never accept anything free, so I'm going to pay for the meal. You said you can't pay, but you can give a donation. So I'm going to give a 100 shekel donation, because it's normally 25 shekels. The second of all is I'm sticking to the truth. If I find the schnitzel too oily, or if I find the soup too salty, I'm going to have to say that. I have no choice. I can't uh, sugarcoat the bitter pill. I have to tell the truth, because I'm a food reviewer. Should I just back out of all this? I'm scared, I'm stressed. Just go across the road, have, uh, go to Taco Lewis, have the best taco meal for 48 shekels, and I'm happy, and I've got no stress, no problems. Or should I go ahead with this project? What do you think? No, we're doing I'm scared, I'm awkward. it's awkward for me. I'm out of my comfort zone. What should I do, walk out or continue? We're doing this. We're doing it? Okay. You know what? That's the beauty. Right. Because finally you come across something that makes you doubt. That's that right. That you have fear of. That's right. And that's the beauty of your name. Okay. Abraham, where are you? Hineni, here I am. Ready. Prepare to do something that I'm scared of. And that's the beauty. Here okay. you can actually, for everybody who comes here, you can push your boundaries. It's a mitzvah campaign today. We're going to do it. Let's go, everyone. Come on. Minutes later, Benjamin and Mohammed emerged from the kitchen with a sample of Hineni's finest foodstuffs for Shimshon's evaluation. These are some of the combinations that we have in the soup. This, for instance, onion soup. Oh, that sounds good. Right, so I'll give you a taste of the onion soup. Well, we work with a lot of people from East Europe right. who like things thick. Okay. Right. You're like a Yiddish Baba. Um, I would say it's decent, not outstanding, but we're not here for outstanding cuisine. It's got um, in it definitely ch uh, chicken soup powder and it's very salty. Um, so, re reasonable, oh, well, uh, but um, it's hot and it's filling, so that, that's good. With the starter out of the way, it was time for Shimshon to try out the rest of the dishes that the venue had prepared for his evaluation. I just want you to taste. So it's uh, quite nice, it's got a Middle Eastern uh, Balkan flavour to it. Even the Greeks probably eat this in the Turkish. Delicious. Shimshon's appetite showing no signs of slowing down, the Australian proceeded to demolish all the other dishes on the menu. What's this one? That's, uh, that's good. Mm. 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 Don't, don't. don't eat everything. Okay. Um, it is fine. Balancing it. <laughs> While Shimshon continued talking into the food, 
we talked to another patron of the venue who was happy to talk about how much Hineni service had been of benefit to her. Hineni, here I am in Hineni. It's a wonderful organization that provides food for people that, you know, need it. Like me, myself, a single mother. Um, it gives me extra time to take care of my kid versus cooking, like, you know, chopping and all that. So thank you so much for all this delicious food. While Hanani would love to be able to provide meals to everybody requiring them, the reality is not so fortunate. As manager Benjamin explained to me, there is a substantial shortfall between how many meals the organization is financially capable of producing and how many actually require its services. That shortfall results in plenty of needy Jerusalemites going hungry. These are the amount of meals we distribute beside the restaurant. 300 meals, 420 meals, 360 meals, 660 meals. These are the amounts of meals that we distribute on a daily basis. Hineni is supported by donations and staffed by volunteers. Those volunteers prepare food for distribution on site and through other means from the organization's small premises located off Shlom Sion Street in central Jerusalem. Okay. Benjamin explains how the kitchen relies upon industrial machinery in order to take food from the kitchen and prepare it for distribution to Jerusalem's hungry. Meals a day we want to. And the beautiful thing is what we do is once the meat or the meat, the, the meat has been cooked, or the food has been cooked. If it's not being served directly, then we do it for pre-packing. It goes from the oven, which is this one here, straight into the blast unit. Now what does the blast unit do? It brings down directly the food from 180 to 100 degrees to about 4 degrees above zero. Preserving vitamins, preserving taste, and giving a longer life shelf. And tomorrow is, uh, is Thursday, we distribute only tomorrow 800 packages uh, for, uh, for people that have difficulties. Uh, a lot of elderly people, Holocaust survivors, and uh, they're, uh, they're very happy with these meals because some people are otherwise without food during Shabbat. Here we have first this one. Potatoes, schnitzel, those are the round packages, couscous, meatballs, vegetables. One small surprise in store before Shimshon and I head for the road, the premises also has a small synagogue on site, as well as a gold-plated elaborate menorah. We have a special exhibition about this, and there is no, and there's no, there's no, uh, There's no second one like that. The extraordinary people making the Hineni program work include the volunteers responsible for handing out food from the canteen itself. We spoke to two of them who were participating in the Masa program and working at the kitchen several days per week. What are your names? Oh, I'm crazy. My name is Sonic. Okay, you come as volunteers? Yeah, um, we're volunteering here through a program called Artvark, which is like a gap year program. Oh, um, yeah. And what organization do you belong to? Uh, Masa. According to Benjamin, many of the frequent accessors of the service arrived to the kitchen after receiving a referral through the Jerusalem municipality's social services. We have here, we have a lot of tourists who come here. Oh, okay. I got a lot of people from the Urban who come here. Oh, okay. I got people that work at, at uh, Mizrat uh, Rawacha, uh -huh. uh, people that work you know, in the social welfare departments that want a good meal and they know this place because they refer people to us. I'm very proud of everything you're doing, helping all these uh, needy people. And I want people to get involved. I want them to donate money. I want them to, donate, to come and help and get involved. Can you please give details how we contact you? How do we donate and how do we um, volunteer? Um, you know, people can always be involved with us through donations. Uh, you can go to henenijerusalem.org and you can make a donation through PayPal. But money is not all what we look for. We look for rebuilding our community. We want people to actually become part of our organization by volunteering, by opening your heart and be with people. Money is important, 
but your heart and your smile and you reaching out to your fellow men is even more powerful than money. Please come, say hineni to your fellow men and be prepared to help those in need. Okay, I'm gonna give you one more hug because I really appreciate what you did. Sean and I may have come to Hineni to check out their food, but we ended up experiencing something much more significant. Hineni is located off Shlomstone Street in downtown Jerusalem. To get more videos from me, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel.